Previously on Maddie's Glam Life. I wanted to share with you guys some of the stuff that we have for baby girl. Um, I'm not going to say her name in this video because if you did not watch the name reveal, you need to go watch the name reveal. So if you have not watched it and you're trying to figure out her name in this video, I'm going to need for you to go watch the name reveal. Says, that's what my heart says. I want to be with you always. Here go the baby, y'all. Well, not the baby, but a baby. A puppy. So, hi, well, so can y'all send me something to the P.O. Box? Here's the outfit of the day, you guys. This dress here is from Amazon. So, if you've been keeping up with my channel, you probably already know that your girl is expecting a beautiful baby girl in July. I am so excited because the time is flying by and you guys, the moment is almost here. The moment that I am anticipating, I cannot wait to hear push. <laughs> But nonetheless, you guys, um, a brand by the name of the Mini Classics ended up sending over some things for my baby girl. And oh my gosh, these items are so cute. I had gotten to the point, you guys, where I was like, I'm not getting royal any more clothes. She has more than enough clothes. And I was like, oh, but this is some cute stuff, okay? So you guys, I was strolling through Mini Classics website and I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many cute things on here. I am just in love and not just for if you have a little girl, if you have a little boy, they have little tuxes on there. Just cute little stuff, you guys, right? So I wanted to share with you guys this stuff really quickly. Now bear with me, your girl is pregnant and very much so out of breath. So don't mind that if you hear that, ooh, it's getting harder to breathe by the day. But I did want to share these items with you guys. So this right here is so cute and I'm thinking about getting her christened in this actually. Um, it's not really a dress, it actually looks like a dress but it has a shorts underneath as you guys can see. Um, it's almost like a romper underneath, sorry. So technically this is a romper even though all depending on how you look at it, it can kind of look like a dress, right? Um, but it's just this light pink color and I think I'm going to get her christened in this. It is so cute. I need to find her a cute little bow to go along with this. Um, it's of such high quality and it is just absolutely beautiful, you guys. I love this. Um, things like this and really a lot of Royals things, I plan on putting in her keepsake box as she gets older because obviously she won't be able to fit this stuff forever. But it's just so exciting to get something that is so cute. Um, this is for babies that are three months or at least the size of what a three month old typically is. Um, so there's that, you guys. Now Mini Classics also sent over this cute little swimsuit here and mama gotta pull out her bikinis too okay so that me and Royal can take us some nice little pictures okay. Um, but this right here is just so adorable as you guys can see it has a little zipper um, and this is just amazing. This has ultraviolet protection. Um, it's supposed to protect your baby against the sun and things like that while they're out and about and you guys I can't stress how high of quality all of these items are from mini classics it's just great quality you guys and like I said I'm gonna be putting this stuff in Royals keepsake box so of course I want something that's of high quality I want something that when she looks in this box 15 years down the line everything will still be intact and of high quality right so this is her little swimsuit and actually this is her first swimsuit you guys so I am, I am loving this I'm obsessed um, everything is just so beautifully done Wow, you guys, I I love this, I do. <laughs> and last but not least, I got this, which I could not pass up. Um, you guys, this is so cute. This is a little onesie, and it also has a little hat to it as well. Um, it has little ruffles on the tushy area, which is adorable, um, and little flowers across it. So I think that this is adorable to you guys i'm obsessed with all these items that i received from mini classics so if you have a little boy or a little girl 
or one that you're getting ready to welcome into your family I definitely recommend that you guys check out mini classics in order to get your baby some nice gear okay so that they can take nice little pictures and be super duper cute in their high quality fits babies deserve high quality too okay um, so definitely check out mini classics down below all the information will be listed for you guys I love all these pieces and I'm sure that you will too especially after you touch them you're gonna be like oh my gosh this is so great this is great quality i want to thank you guys so much for watching this part of the video and now we can go ahead and get right into the vlog <laughs> Here's the baby you guys she's going to hey she's going to get her shots uh, she's been a lot better as you guys can see she's picked up some weight so that's what we're taking her to now Down. Six miles, turn left. Goddamn, y'all, what she just sealed me. She just had a treat, and she's looking for another one. I guess we're not going to she do a trick. Sit, 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 sit. Every time. <laughs> so her appointment is over with. It is done. She did great. Um, she got violated twice, but that's okay. <laughs> um, but she's healthy. At first, they were testing her for parvo. Thankfully, she doesn't have parvo, y'all. Whenever we get a new puppy, I literally always forget how expensive puppies are to take care of. But nonetheless, you know, God sent her to us, so we're going to take care of her. But this sweet girl here is going to go home and get some rest because she she's been wanting to go to sleep. Um, and we put her in this basket because we're actually in my car. And I just cleaned out my car. And mom was like, can we take your car? And I was like sure <laughs> but anyways um yeah 
Let's take her home so she can eat and hang with her sisters. Look at that little sweet face. And they said that she may be about 12 weeks. So, um, yeah. Anyway, you guys, that's it. shots that she got will start to kick in so she may be kind of worn down later not as energetic um but yeah y'all that's that we're headed home so that she can rest because she's kind of restless right now and climbing up on the seat miss ma'am ain't none in that trunk Hey y'all. So your girl just cut her hair. Um, anytime I think about growing my hair out, yeah, I canceled that idea very quickly. Especially now that I'm pregnant because, um, y'all, um, let's talk about pregnancy hair for a second. My whole entire hair texture is completely different than what it was prior to me getting pregnant. Whether or not it'll go back to being the same, I don't know, but it, it's completely different. Um, I just want to pop in and say hello because I really have not been in the mix recently. I have not been vlogging. I have not been doing too much of anything in terms of YouTube, but I'm about to get back, okay? Your girl has been receiving a lot of blessings on the back end, okay? So, um... For YouTube, I've been getting a lot of different stuff, but just in my personal life, your girl has been blessed. Okay, when I say I've been blessed, I've been blessed. Okay, very fortunate, very happy, um, and I'm just really soaking in the fact that I'm going to have a newborn in two months. So, <laughs> I'm taking all of that in, um, and I'm really, really excited, of course, but it's something that's, you know, different. Um, so I'm just kind of preparing myself mentally for getting into mommy mode. Ooh, my arms look huge, y'all. Wish they are. Okay, my arms look like I can cook. Okay. Y'all may think I'm being funny, but I'm not. They look like I can cook. Um, but yeah, I'm just getting myself together. Um, I've been doing everything that I need to do. Baby girl has everything that she needs. Um, but baby, the baby shower is next month on the 17th so the baby shower will be June the 17th for the people asking thank you for <laughs> y'all I'm tripping over my words thank you to everyone who has bought um, stuff off of my registry I really really appreciate it um, 
someone bought her some diapers um someone got me a gift card i guess so i can get her some different stuff just a bunch of different things so i will be sharing that stuff with you guys when it comes in the mail i have not gotten it yet but thank you guys so much um but yeah i've been kind of m.i.a recently i've just been you know in my zone in my zone and um yeah not to mention you know being pregnant is just Ooh, chat. it's hard for me to get up and do certain things nowadays because getting out of my bed is a task let me tell y'all um but this is my pillow that goes on my chair i ended up getting this now y'all may be going what the hell is that um it's been really hard on me okay because look at this belly okay y'all see the belly all right it's hard for me to keep my bathroom as clean as i want it to be now because my back pain is horrible okay um and i didn't even discuss this but you guys when i first got pregnant i was 130 pounds no no it wasn't 130 pounds girl i'm lying i was 130 pounds when i stopped working at amazon that's how much weight i lost working at amazon but i was how big was i 140 pounds either 140 to 145 pounds now I'm almost 200 pounds. Now I know to a lot of people I don't look like that. But y'all my, my body is like full of fluid. Okay. It's not fat. It's fluid. Um, it's really hard. If I press down on it it takes a long time to um, go back to its normal. Um, its normal. I was going to say shape. But for the skin to basically perk back up so i'm full of fluid right now which is normal during pregnancy but um it's not really the healthiest thing must i say uh my feet are always swollen my ankles are always swollen really me as a person overall right now I'm just swollen you guys so that's something else in itself but thankfully my feet have kind of went down monday i'm going to go and get a pedicure um, so hopefully that'll help to kind of relax me somewhat and um, yeah but nonetheless your girl is just getting her life getting everything together um, I did tell you guys that I was I was gonna have to probably tour the hospital that I'm gonna give birth at um, but unfortunately they are not doing tours right now they have not been doing tours since prior to COVID um, that was something that was recommended to me and my doctor also um, agreed with it but he said that they probably were not doing tours so since I'm so close to giving birth I wanted to just kind of know at such time that I did go into labor you know where we had to go what we had to do etc etc um, but I'm not really going to worry about it too much I'm not so I'm going to open this up and what I need to get you guys and this is what I actually need because like I said baby girl has what she needs um, and baby girl kind of needs this too but I need to get a hospital bag okay why well, I don't have a hospital bag yet who knows but I need to get that together because I have officially hit the 30 week pregnant mark um, considering my due date I don't know how they calculated that because I'm pretty sure I got pregnant what day did I get pregnant in October? Honey, I got pregnant in October. And yeah, according to my apps, I'm 30, week, 30 weeks pregnant. But my Flow app, which is where I tracked my ovulation and stuff like that when I was trying to get pregnant. Uh, my Flow app says that I am still like two days away from being 30 weeks pregnant. Nonetheless, tomato, tomato, I'm 30 weeks. Um, So... I need to put this together. This is just a ooh, this is just a wand so that I can clean my shower. Baby, I hope they get instructions in here because please don't just give me a bunch of poles and say, hey, go fly with the wind. I'm like, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Okay. Thank you for your purchase. Mm, okay. Thank you for the card. I'm gonna go away, but thank you. Um, I've been trying to buy more um, like cleaning products that are not as in your face because 
Let me tell y'all. Being pregnant, of course, you're not supposed to smell cleaning products like that anyway. Okay, here's the instructions. And y'all, Clorox is just too strong for your girl right now. Okay, let's see what you get. We see, we see, we see. Okay, basically, I just got a bunch of poles. This is how I put it together, apparently. Oh, girl, I need to do my nails. <laughs> We're not even going to talk about that. My nail channel is like, well, all oh, yeah, we need content. Okay, there's one pole. Here's another pole. Here's another pole. Here's another one. And another one. <laughs> Okay, so we need to get this put together. Um, how does this go? Baby. Goes into the hole. Seems simple enough, right? So, we are getting ready to go. There's mama. <laughs> we are getting ready to go. Did you play? No. They didn't see it. We're getting ready to go to the grocery store. I'm going to be taking y'all along with me on today. So, <laughs> get ready. But get ready. Okay. Um, y'all, I think I'm going to have to start wearing panty liners because this might be TMI, but baby. <laughs> Look. It's like baby is just like pressing down on earth time, okay? So this is an outfit of the day. This dress here is from Fashion Nova. It might be a little bit washed out, sorry if it is. Um, these shoes are from my mama's closet because baby, she got all the comfortable shoes. I can't wait to get birth so I can get back in my stilettos, but right now I'm playing it safe so that I won't have any issues walking. Okay, this purse here, Fashion over, y'all know I like to do this because I can hide my baby bump. <laughs> Look, you can't tell. You can't even tell I'm pregnant. Hey. Um, but yeah, y'all, we're gonna to head to the store, pick up a few things. I did not make a list, so I kind of already have an idea of what I want to get. Um, but nonetheless, I'm ready. Um, I might just throw a little bit of oil around my toenails, and that's gonna pretty much be that. So I'm ready to head out. I'm ready to get to the store. It's nice and early. Well, it's not as early anymore. It's 11 o'clock. Um, so, I'm ready, y'all. I'm ready. I'm ready. And y'all shall see me in a second because we are about to go. Sure looks blurry to me. Thank goodness my mom is driving. Um, before I got pregnant, I would not let anybody drive my car. But now, y'all, since I've been pregnant, it's like my faculties is like all off. Like my mom will tell you, I was like, uh-uh, I'm gonna let drive my car. Anyways, we just came out of Walmart, and your girl had like a, a fainting spell. Okay. Um, I'm like, I gotta get out of this store because if I don't, your girl's gonna fall out, okay? Um, and I have like these little spats every now and then where it's just like it's hot and it is too much, y'all. It's too much for me, um, and my heart rate just goes through the roof. So, um, we're about to head home because. I can't do no more of this today. We went to Dollar Tree, we came to Walmart, we got everything that we need, and now I just need to go home and I need to sit down. Who is she fussing at? 
anyway let me not be nosy because being nosy nowadays comes with plenty of consequences so let me just mind my business but anyways you guys that's it about to go home hopefully i'm able to cook or something and that's another thing like when i'm not feeling good and i go into that kitchen it, that makes it even worse it's just like the heat <laughs> they say if you can't stand the heat stay out the kitchen well if you're sick stay out the kitchen too okay <laughs> but anyways we got to head home you guys and today is saturday and today was the day that i had the energy to come to the store suddenly okay meaning that we stood in line a long time which is probably why I started to feel kind of fumpy. Fumpy is the right way to put that, but anyway. So, at least I did my makeup today. I got pretty, just to be feeling a hot mess. But one thing I learned is when you're pregnant and your body say, sit your butt down somewhere, oh, you're best to sit down or your body gonna sit you down for you, okay? And my mom laughs at me all the time because I was telling her, I was like, Mom, no, you were just old when you had kids. Don't say that all the time, Mar. Then I used to say that. And after I got pregnant, <laughs> I slowly but surely realized what she was talking about. Um, but y'all know my mom didn't have kids until she was like in her late 30s. So she had Brianna. You had Brianna when you were 35. And she had me when she was 38. But y'all, I start feeling all types of crazy and I'm just like, ooh, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. <laughs> Cause I would hate to fall out in this store. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know where them heat flashes come from. Monday is my doctor's appointment, so I'm definitely gonna ask my doctor about it and see what he says. But he probably just gonna tell me you need to sit down somewhere. Um, but at first everybody was telling me, oh, you just need to walk more. Girl, you start walking more and you will see why pregnant women love to sit down. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, we're headed home. So hopefully I get back on here and talk um, and I'm not too out of my mood. Cause right now I'm in one of the moods where it's just like oh, shut down time. Um, but hopefully I can stay up and at them cause I do actually want to get this video up today. So. Hopefully I'm able to do that. But anyway, we are trying.